Shalom. Shalom. All right, we're the brothers from the uh, Great Millstone Atlanta Church. But uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises uh, to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bob Shem, Yahweh Shai, Bob Shem, and Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And our peace, love, and salutation uh, to you. I came out there that's pushing this truth. Uh, this is the brother, Brother Yadai, and I'm the brother I nod. Uh, basically, basically, when it comes to um, a lesson on basically the Lord is visiting the earth and what He made, and um, you know we know different scriptures about wars and rumors of wars, pestilence. That's how He's visiting the world uh, as well. But there's even smaller judgments um, that's that's coming, that's sending like little aftershots and little tremors to even your little local uh, small uh, major city here in Babylon, man. And um, we're just going to jump right into it, man, because the Lord is just sending signals and signs that he, he's sending his son back. He even got this, um, what is that, the sun moon? Not the sun moon, but it was a um, snow moon. I snow moon. Yeah, the snow moon is coming up earlier, I mean, later on this month, man. So he's showing signs and wonders in the heaven to let you know that his son is coming back, man. So uh, we're just going to start off in, uh, was it a second edge of uh, nine right quick? Oh, I got it. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So the Lord spoke of these things from the beginning, even before we came on the scene. And one of those things are, are earthquakes and uproars of the people. You know, you still have the Yellow Vest protest going on, even though it's not um, uh, put out there like it was when it first started. All right, you got different um, seditions going around the world. And then you got earthquakes, man. And um, you had one here in Atlanta, I believe, last night. And uh, it was a 2.3 earthquake. I'm just going to read the full article later, but it says um, it was a two-point earthquake that uh, was a depth of three miles. And it was northeast of Atlanta in a city called Lilburn, the suburbs. So, you know, these little earthquakes and tremors that you see in America, you might not think nothing of it, but then... You look at earthquakes in Puerto Rico, the one that um, sent aftershocks to Miami, and they were actually scared last week for Super Bowl 54. All right, these are these are serious things that are happening, and, and people don't know um, about different fault lines even in America, man. Because before this earthquake in Atlanta, this little 2.3, a month ago, there was an earthquake on the south side of Atlanta. It was like a little 2.2, so the Lord just keeps sending tremors to these different places here in America, not just Atlanta, but on the um, on the um, West Coast, on the East Coast, even in the middle, you have a, um, the New Madrid fault line, which affects eight states in the uh, southeastern to midwestern United States. So the Lord is visiting the world, which He made with earthquakes and all these other uh, natural disasters that uh, He hasn't He has in store. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit more. I know. Another point for the earthquake. Mm -hmm. um, uh, second Ezra is nine and five. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Mm -hmm. So even, um, you know, these things are not just, these are, these are national, uh, natural, uh, uh, phenomena, like these are natural events in which, you know, we have, we don't control, we don't control the elements, we don't mm -hmm. control the clouds and, you know, the land and the air, like we don't control those things, those mm -hmm. things are just inherently controlled by Yahweh you know, Shai, he, he, Yahweh Bashan Al Shai is the creator of the elements. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even with us, we you know, we're made up of particular elements. Mm -hmm. But even us, even us, 
you know, we were, we were created in the in, you know during a time of creation, so to speak. You know, like you know the creatures and you know humans and animals. You know, you know what I'm saying? We even us being able to be on this earth. The earth in itself is a magnificent creation. Mm -hmm. We haven't even that's going to be a, a a part a portion of the kingdom. Early in the kingdom, we're going to be just mind, yeah. mind blown off of that in yeah. itself. Like being able to actually explore the entire creation of the earth, mm -hmm. that's going to take some time. <laughs> yeah, that's going to definitely. You ain't going to just, you know what I'm saying, like come into the kingdom and just in one day on the earth, like see everything on the earth. Yeah. Like that's going to take time. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I know it's going to take some time to explore everything there is to see on earth and mm -hmm. uh, and underwater it was there's more there's so much to see underwater that you know cuz yeah. <laughs> you know so you know these are all part of the creations and you know the signs the things that are actually be, have been manifest in which mm -hmm. now Yahweh you know, Shai is using the creation the, the creation in which he created you know you know uh, in which he allowed the Alahayim to create, with Yahweh Shai being the, you know, the, the top spirit underneath the Heavenly Father Yahweh, he's allowing us to witness him himself using these creations to be a sign of the end, that the end is near. It's, 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 it's like miraculous, like it's, mm -hmm. it's on a whole other level, man, yeah. you know. This is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 6. And even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. I say plain beginnings because this is what? Well, really when Yahweh Shah came on the scene and, you know, allowed, you know, and became a sacrifice, we are we're officially in the last days, mm -hmm. you know. But the, these signs that are happening now, which in which were prophesied to happen in the the last days, at the last seconds of the last days, you know, in that time, you know, this time being that time, um, it's a it's a plain beginning. It's 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 very evident mm -hmm. to them who can see that this is the beginning of the end, right? The beginning of the end of Esau's kingdom. Mm -hmm. These natural disasters, these earthquakes in diverse places, I have to that too. These are a sign that the Creator is using His creation to show as a sign of the end, because it's plain, it's evident. Um, and endings and effects in signs. See, so like I said, like even like with like the boat mentioned the um, the snow moon. Mm -hmm. You know these particular eclipses. You know the uh, the eclipse uh, some years ago creating that X across America. Oh yeah. That's, you know, things that, are, that have actually happened that are, are very powerful signs from the Heavenly Father, how about you know, Shai. That's right. You got something? You say you got that Matthew 24? Well, I'm going to read out of Mark. All Same right. thing, though. A similar, uh, you know, prophecy. This is Mark 13. And um, I'm going to start at verse 7. Mark 13 and 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall be not yet. Mm -hmm. And just making the point off of that, even with that, see now we're seeing these wars and rumors of wars. Okay? And with that, we're you know, we, we should be in the spirit of not being worried about that, man. Mm -hmm. How it is you gonna have you gonna have a, a two thirds Two thirty eight, worried about what's going on in World War Three, then damn sinkhole just collapsed their whole apartment complex. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you worried about it, you in the wrong spirit, mm -hmm. and you don't, you don't really understand how much, how easy it is for you how Bosh and Shai to touch you at any moment anyway. Um, continuing on, this is Mark thirteen and eight. For nation shall, raise, shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, mm -hmm. and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Mm 
Yes, these are only beginning the sorrows which you see going on with um, the pestilence and even the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. These are only the beginnings, man. These, 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 uh, and we're going back to uh, these natural disasters, these little earthquakes that you see in um, uh, Puerto Rico. What was it, 5,000 earthquakes last month in Puerto Rico? Um, this is only the beginning, you know, this is only the beginning. You're going to start to see uh, a lot more tragedy going on with these earthquakes, tsunamis. Uh, we was at a brother's house a couple of days ago and we watched that movie Deep Impact. Now, um, it has something to do with a comet that was hitting Earth, which, you know, through the spirit, we, we, we interpret that as the missiles coming. Right. But there's going to be natural disasters that's going to hit this place, man. There's going to be actual tsunamis. All right, there's actual earthquakes. Uh, look at look at um Australia right now. Australia's torn up, man. Mm -hmm. All right, all these fires. You're gonna see more forest fires, more mudslides, mm -hmm. more deluge of rain. Mm -hmm. All right, more more chaos and destruction, more hailstorms coming to the world and and Babylon, man. Flash floods. Flash floods. You know, even in this um this city that we live in, Atlanta, man. Uh, top of last week. About Tuesday, Wednesday, it was like a good 70 degrees, you know, and Jake was out here acting a fool, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the typical Atlanta was out here with the, the crews top back, mm -hmm. you know, driving through Peachtree without a care in the world. Barbecuing. Barbecuing, all right, boo-hooing boo and, and barbecuing. Mm -hmm. Two days later, maybe down a day and a half, you had a whole bunch of rain, flash yeah. full of warning. Flood, flash flood, flash flood warning mm -hmm. in the Amber Alert, yep. and you had snow. <laughs> See, and then like even like the brother said, made a point where you had uh, Jake and you had these heathens too, mm -hmm. riding with their top back all, you know, mm -hmm. trying to be cool and whatnot. They're going to show you they're not taking things serious, and they right. don't even understand too about you know <clears throat> how acting though in that particular manner, not just that in particular, but just mm -hmm. like you know. Know how to layer up, yeah. What you so you can you know keep your your system strong mm -hmm. to fight off against particular diseases because yeah. that stuff is out here, man. Yeah. Even though like the brother mentioned the coronavirus, we understand that's real. <laughs> you know, and we you know believe that Yahweh Shai will deliver us and and not you know make us succumb to those pestilences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we know that these things are real and that they're out here. Yeah, some people who believe who, who think coronavirus is fake. Yeah, so like, it's fake news. Like we had this uh, Edomite chick that came up two weeks ago at camp saying the basis to get a cure is to wash your hands. That's getting away a bacteria, not a virus. And, th and then you got people, you get it's on the internet mm -hmm. who contract coronavirus and just fucking drop dead. <laughs> how's that? How's washing your hands gonna help the save you from that? Exactly. So I mean, the Lord is sending sin signs, like even going back to this natural disaster. Even last night in Atlanta, we had a patch of fog. Oh, that, that fog. That fog was heavy, man. Yeah. Brother told me this morning, but it started around, what, 8 o'clock last night? And then the brother, uh, he hit me up. He was at the job, and it was 10 o'clock in the morning, and it was still fog. Wow. So the Lord is going to send signals, all right, to let you know what time it is. It doesn't matter what city you live in, man. This is just a small indication of what's going to happen to America and the world as a whole with these natural disasters and calamities. But hey man, you gotta pay attention to what's going on in, in your in, 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 in your local neighborhood, all right, your own backyard, the the country, the world. And also too, like what we we're saying, as far as like the coronavirus and people not knowing they got it, it's a high time to get into herbs. Mm -hmm. You know, like the colonial silvers. Mm -hmm. Uh, the black seed oils. Eating uh, your diet. Yeah, your diet. Having a healthy, balanced diet, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it's a, it's about time to get into those things because uh, drinking water. Drinking water. Yeah. We talk. We was speaking about elements in our last in our last lesson and how you know our bodies are mostly composed of water. Yeah. Drinking water and drinking the right type of water. Very important. Now, of course, you know. Me and Babylon, you know, you know everything, uh, you know, is uh, contaminated to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. But even with that, there are certain waters that are better than others. Yeah, you know, like you see that water the uh, apostles drink, essential uh -huh. water. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's really good, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a difference between going. Go, you can pay two fifty for like what? Um, 
I mean, this is, I mean, I didn't, it don't say what the pH is, mm-hmm. but I mean, it's just, you know, natural spring water. Yeah. Now you got some, I mean, that, that go doing some research, man. Mm-hmm. You know, being, being not, uh, real quick, get first John 20. But, you know, actually understand that now by showing how shots open my spirit up to understand things on a very, uh, um, deep level, so to speak, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you, you know, you how about you now trying to open our spirit up so we can, you know, we can, we can, to open our spirit up, period, that should be enough. Mm-hmm. So we can think about things on a, a macro scale, a global scale, and in an a, a environmentalistic type of scale. Yeah. You can think about, you, you know, your diet, you know, your, 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 your health, your immune system. You can think about uh, uh, business. Mm-hmm. You can think about, um, Anything, anything, f- philosophy. You can think about philosophy. You know, like you how about you know, shots open our our spirit and our temple up. That there's a lot you can do with it, man. Mm-hmm. You got that? All right. This is uh First John uh two and twenty. For you have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Yeah, and that and that unction goes into an anointing. You know, you have a, a, a spiritual anointing. Okay, from your how about you know shot and through that we have access and the ability to know all things. A little more on that? Uh, I got a twenty one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have not written unto you because you know not the truth. Right. But because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. Yeah, so you know truth is truth. Okay, even to just the point where, you know, the truth truth don't necessarily have to come from Directly of the word of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. The truth is of the word that you can, uh, you know, find out and about or out in life comes through you. Because you understand that your spiritual understanding of something that's not necessarily written. You might read a book, mm-hmm. another book other than, other than the, the scripture. Now, of course, the, uh, the uh, getting of the many books, there is no end. Mm-hmm. And... Scriptures instruct us to seek out of the the the, the, the book of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, okay, and uh and unto unto the scriptures there is no mate, there is no match. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, you have access. If I want, if I wanted to, I give you a prime example. If I wanted to learn about computer programming, yeah. the scriptures are not the book to go to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Facts, man. Okay, but if I if I have the spirit and the unction of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai to know all things, okay, and to be able to recognize truth when it is true. Mm-hmm. So, so just from the standpoint of, okay, let's say I want to work from home and I want to make X amount of dollars per hour. Mm-hmm. Computer programming, uh, through my research, can show that that is a possible way to do that. So I'm going to learn that to make, to bring forth the truth that I can work from home and make this type of money doing this. Mm-hmm. I understand that. Not because I went to the scriptures to learn how to program computers. I understand that because I understand the value of the word and how applying that will give me the understanding to move in this manner or in this fashion. All through the elements, man. The, just all, all through the understanding of these signs in which we are a portion of the signs, Lord willing. Mm-hmm. Okay? We, Lord willing, are the men who are chosen and ordained to do this in these last days. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that is, you know, that is important, man. That, that is important for the times that we're going into, man. You got to be able to know yourself and know your elements and know what, what you're facing against as well, man. You know? And the signs. Yeah. How those elements are, um, the confidence that those elements are really talking to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That those elements are talking to you and they're giving you a certain sign, a certain signals, a certain message. It's, it's to the point now, it's to the point now, and it's not heavy how much you now shot us. It's getting to the point now that he doesn't necessarily have to send a particular messenger to give you a message. Now, we get to understand through the scriptures, you know, and we understand that that, that is a spirit of how much you shot, that's Yahweh shot, it's written in the book, okay? But how much you shot is on such a level, man, of perfection and just like grand thinking. Mm-hmm. That through this understanding of the scriptures, he can speak to you directly with an earthquake. That's so right. You understand what that is a sign of signal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got it, bro. Now you, now you're saying because uh, 
you know, uh, the scriptures say Ephraim is joined to, unto idols, let him alone. And when that, uh, when that January 6th earthquake hit uh, Puerto Rico, that 6.6, .6, they were celebrating Three Kings Day. So the Lord was sending a signal, hey, get away from these idols. I got you, I got a, there's a brother that's on the island that's preaching the word. Hey man, I'm sending you the signal because you refuse to obey. Now, what's happening now? They still in the same dilemma they had back during uh, Hurricane Maria. You still got people sleeping outside. They can't get no aid, and they wait for the devil to give them some type of uh, aid, man. When they should be trusting in, in the Lord, man. So the Lord, hey, he's, he's gonna send more signals, man. And absolutely, you know, we gotta be us that's in this faith, man. We gotta, uh, you know, keep trimming, keep trimming. The last lesson that we did was on growth, mm -hmm. so we gotta keep uh, doing these things so we can escape this judgment, man. We're gonna be in the middle of it, but Lord willing, we're not gonna get judged, like. All the other people who are doing wickedness, man. Well, really, we just, you know, you know, judgment comes down. Judgment is guilty, not guilty. Mm -hmm. Well, when the judgment comes down, we're found not guilty. If you can catch my drift, yeah, we're found not guilty through what? Through the blood and sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, and through the um, activation of our faith, which our faith becomes activated through works. That's right. So, you got anything else? La. Uh, I'll read this last one. This is uh, Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. The scriptures say uh, pray without ceasing, man. That's, that's, mm -hmm. that's something that you got in your spiritual repertoire that's going to be able to fight these things that are going to come up against you. Come up, up against you. Mm -hmm. That you may be accounted worthy to escape. And that might be a spiritual power, man. Absolutely. Escaping a tsunami. Escaping a 9.9 uh, a .9 earthquake, escaping a Category 6 earthquake, because these things are going to happen. It's going to get so bad. Ain't going to be no Category 5. It's going to be a Category 6 and 7. Ain't going to be no 9. It's going to be 10 earthquakes. So we might be in the spirit. We might be in another part of the land or another part of the country when those things happen. And you know what's so heavy about that is, you know, we have we have accounts in which Yahweh and Yahweh worked with, you know, people of our nation to actually control the elements on such on that type of ma magnificent level, man. Mm -hmm. Even with uh, Moses part in the Red Sea. Yeah. Was it not control the elements? Yeah. You know? Yahweh was shy walking on water. Mm -hmm. Yahweh was shy uh, multiplying the food. Mm -hmm. The disciples being able to just uh, heal people on the spot. Mm -hmm. so All Alicia, control and manipulation of elements. Yeah. Alicia bringing down fire from heaven. That Absolutely. <laughs> manipulation of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to start my topic again. Uh, Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So all these things that we mentioned in these scriptures, the hurricanes and natural disasters, you can read um, Isaiah 20. We didn't get into it, but Isaiah 29 and 6, Isaiah 28 and 2. It talks about the hailstorms and the earthquakes, even in the Old Testament. So these are the things that are going to come to pass. But if we watch and pray and uh, examine ourselves and stay ready, that's the best thing. You gotta be, you gotta always be on the ready, man. You, you gotta meditate on these things. I'm not saying it's gonna drive you to sorrows where you're just gonna be in fearful, because the Most High didn't give us the spirit of fear. But like the scripture that we read, you gotta have the unction, unction to know all things. Shit, man, if you're fearful, we'll do a lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're gonna just manipulate the elements, man. Mm -hmm. If that if that spirit of fear is affecting your body, mm -hmm. how do you manipulate that and you know transform that energy to make it into a positive? Right. Utilize that utilize that spirit that's on you and that emotion that's on you to do a lesson. That's right. Use that fear to your benefit and not to your destruction. Uh, hey, uh, so you got anything else? Wow. All right, so with that, hey, Lord, when I was edifying, once again, we want to give all praises uh, to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, I need double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well. Uh, peace, love, and salutation to you, Akin, is pushing his truth. Till next time, Lord willing, Shalom. Shalom.